Hello and welcome to section three. This is the beginning of the, you know, of this of really finding solution to the problems that we may ever face in life. This section three is titled Spiritual Formula. This is the spiritual formula for solving any type of problem. And this formula comes from the Bible. I pick all the formula that I'm going to speak on in this section three from the Bible. The Bible is our textbook. And um, if you have a Bible, you can get it across, you know, just get it around so that you can just look at the references that I'm going to make. Spiritual formula for solving difficult problems of life. And that is what I'm going to be dealing it with in this section. This section, I've got seven lessons. There are seven lessons in this section. And the first of the lesson is lesson eight. And this lesson eight is titled Prayers. God commanded us to pray. In the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, the Bible says, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. God himself, through the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, told us that when we have problem, we should ask him to help us, and he will help us. He said we should seek solution through our prayer, and we're going to find it. You see, so prayer is the first spiritual step to take towards solving your problem. Because when you pray, God will hear you. The Bible says that because we belong to him, we know that when we pray, he hears us. And when we know that he hears us, he shall give us according to our desire. You see, in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1, Jesus said, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Prayer is a very powerful, you know, spiritual instrument or formula to solve any type of problem. No matter your problem, when you pray, God will hear you and your problem will be solved. You see, you have to understand that it's very, very important. In the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. God wants to help you, but you have to tell him. God wants to tell you, but you have to pray. God cannot intervene until you pray. I don't know why it is so. Somebody asked me, if God loved me and knows my problem, why does he require me to pray? I don't know, but I just believe the word of God. God says, for you to get my attention, to do something for you, you must ask me. That is in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 36. God, 36 and 37. God will do for you when you ask. But when you don't ask, I don't know why it is so, but God requires that you ask him, you pray to him, you seek before it can be done for you. I hope you get it. That's a lesson eight. And the thing is prayer. Learn how to pray and your problem will dissolve. Thank you so much. I'll see you in lesson nine.